Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Paul, East X Twitch, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we stream a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight, I'm joined on mic by Bob Jones. Hello. And we also have Perfect Zero. Greetings, Earthlings. Yes, and we are going to play some River Bond for Xbox One. It is also on PlayStation 4, Switch, and Steam, I believe. Ooh, it's a voxel game. I like I like voxel games. Me too. And there's Simu. Good to see you, Simu and Wolfblade. Thyrenia, Swoboda, all my good pals. Quick look at the options. Brownmeist is here, helping out with the contest like a boss. Tutorial. Hopefully it just automatically gives you a tutorial. Look at that. Ooh, it's sometimes they don't when they have it in the menu. Yeah, like I, I don't want to double it up. We'll just put play and see. I bet you it doesn't, because it's rare for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. We'll find out. So it looks like you could pick between 10 different areas to go to. Like, it's not a connected world. You just go to the world, and it shows you the boss when you pick mm -hmm. the area. So we're going to go back to the actual the first level. Tutorial, too, if you want. Oh, fine. Tutorial. Why not? Yeah, because there's probably an achievement for it. Hello, I'm here to show you how to survive in this unfamiliar world. Nice out of focus or depth of field effect or whatever in the background. You're on a floating island. That's my real name. It's a family business, all right? Enough about my personal life. Pay attention. Whimsical little game. Can you... Oh, I can't hit the birds. Use left stick to move. Okay, I can handle that. Roll with B to move quickly. I did not know that. So. You probably don't need a tutorial on what water is. We're in a lot of trouble if you do. Apparently we need a tutorial on what concentration camps are. A little topical reference there. Oh, have you seen yeah. the, the promo video of the nice ones? Nice concentration camps? Oh, oh, they're like super fancy and everybody's all happy and huggy. Oh god, that can't yeah. be rich. Oh, oh it is, and most <laughs> people are calling it propaganda from like 50 years ago. Like they yeah, can't I mean, believe they made it. That's what I mean. I mean, it cannot be honest. Treasure chest well, it's ahead. it's official one, so it's supposed to be, but people just can't believe they made it. Like it's just ah, <sighs> well, it's just, yeah, sadness. All kinds of wrong. Yep. This country we live in. I found a sword. Well, they're delaying the big old icy ice raids that they were gonna do. Oh, they are good because like everybody's passing around warnings and stuff. Oh yeah, it's it's just a big old mess. One, you you don't announce that you're going to do that. You announce it once you start it. So, but also that's total Nazi crap. Like, oh yeah, that's why I'm saying it's total. also it's like you if you I don't know. I think it was just a stunt to to say he's doing stuff because if he really wanted to do it, he wouldn't have told people he was going to do it till it start. Because then people wouldn't know about it. Brownmeister and Geno, just be glad you don't live here right now. Although this could happen to pretty much any country that doesn't have enough checks and balances. Yeah, this country doesn't have checks and balances anymore anyway. Yeah, I mean, they've they've been... For one thing, they were inadequate, and they what ones we do have are being eroded, so that's not great either. Okay, hold X to charge your weapon when it's fully... Okay, see, I didn't know that either. See, look at this tutorial, Paul. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea, Bob. <laughs> Technically, we can just call you Bob, because Royal Bob is basically MIA at this point. Blaster, a ranged weapon. Nice. Just why you equip it, and then I can use the D-pad to switch... Oh, I, I see. I get to pick what slot it goes in and then switch to it. The quick bar. Oh, and you can aim and shoot like twin stick shooter style. Well, hey, this game's got everything except See? for online play. But <laughs> yes, it is good to know all this stuff. But won't it be funny if we pick the first level and it goes to this? Great work. I Your mean, if you like, level. I don't know, the Minecraft people are getting an online Diablo Minecraft game. Yeah, uh, Minecraft Dungeons. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's cool. Also a good reason to release this now instead of like any time near when that comes out. Well, that's not until next year, so. Ah, uh, good. Yeah, it's a 2020 title. But Microsoft's like definitely going to spend, you know, put money into that asset they spent $2 billion on. Yeah, and they should. <laughs> Capitalizing more on Minecraft by oh. releasing new and different products is a great idea. Because, I mean, like, there's already so many toys and clothing and things you can buy at a store. So why not have new kinds of games, too? Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they wouldn't have spent $2 billion on it if they were just going to leave them alone. And I think I talked about it during a different stream, but... But I I really like the idea of spin-off games. You know, like I wish more games had spin-offs because it kind of like expands the world of the game. You know, and it gives you a chance to pick up new fans who otherwise might not have tried the original. Yeah, it's it's Nicky only even... happens for big franchises. True. Because they think it's worth the risk to try. Hey, let's make this game, but it's going to be a different type of game than normally. Equip a new skin at the start of the mission. Are we at the end of the mission now? Kicking these birds' butts. Can I throw one off the edge? That would be great. No, you can't pick them up. Alright. Defeat all enemies. Complete. Hey, I like that sound. Thank you for the cheer, VX Latino Heat. Awesome of you. By the way, guys, I did receive a Twitch payment the other day. So, Ooh. you know. Twitch still takes absolutely forever to pay us, but it was real nice that they did. And Brailmeister subscribed to me. Thank you. What do you want, like the 90-day plan thing? I guess it's every 90 days. I yeah. thought they said that they were going to do it sooner, but I must have misunderstood the email. They did it. They upped it to 45 for larger amounts. Oh. So you probably aren't sucks. at that threshold. Well, dang it. it sucks to be me, then. You're pretty good. You got your melee weapon, your ranged weapon, and a special attack. Tracing all three. That's right, because I can charge. You can attack with either the X button or right trigger, which is handy. Ah, uh, box is falling down ever. Oh, right bumper does a special attack. That was a weird attack. Oh, and I hit, like, practically nobody with it. Ah, they're killing me. How do I know when my right bumper attack is charged up, I wonder? Because it's not. Ooh, big coin. It's worth a thousand. That was nice. <laughs> you could be right, tech guy. And hello, tech guy. Sorry I didn't say hi to you yet. I feel like people would pick up giant floating coins when they would come across them. <laughs> heck, <laughs> man, I would... I mean, well, if you walked on, down the street and just started seeing $100 bills just floating around, Paul, we'd be like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Probably so. And uh, what was I just going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Brown Mysta likes dungeon crawlers. So, guys, just so everybody knows, if this game is on Xbox Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass... You don't have to wait till you win the game. You can just play it on your own. And uh, so far, it is really, really neat. So I, I do recommend it. Oh, I wasted my special attack again. Why do I keep doing that? You want to destroy boxes. Apparently so. So think about that when you're boxes. entering the contest. Because we do have some people who do not have Game Pass, even though it's only $1. So, like, if you're... If you have Game Pass and you can just play the game that way, then consider letting somebody else enter and win it, but it is up to you. Oh, neat, Jono. That reminds me, guys, did we get anything for watching the Xbox Mixer presentation? Because I watched it and I don't know that I got they, anything. They just do add-ins and DLC stuff now. They don't give games away anymore. But how do you get it? Like, I It haven't... should just appear in your library. Hmm. Any idea yeah, what it's, it's supposed to be? They mm. something popped up on my screen, but I didn't even notice what it was. Yeah, uh, it's it, last last time it was just like add-ons from games I didn't even have. There we go. Games you didn't even have, dang. Well, they're probably Game Pass games now. Could well be nothing to. Oh, uh, everyone forgot. Yeah, I didn't look at the Xbox message. I didn't realize I had received one. Now that you guys are mentioning it, that does make sense. Yeah, I didn't even watch it this time through Mixer, because I was like, eh, 
I mean, the the first time they did it, they gave away like a bunch of cool games. So I was like, cool. And then that they didn't do it after that. Yeah, well, I only did it because it was in 4K on Mixer. Oh, neat. Uh, but we also, as some of my viewers know, I also live streamed the thing on Twitch myself, and that was really fun. Yep. So if you, uh, it was, uh, I think we'll do that next year. Because me and somebody else were uh, dual streaming it. So we were watching it on the mixer and then watching you on the PC. Nice. That's the way to do it. That way you get the mixer credit. Ah. You should you do it with commentary. The... We I did. did Tyler, Tyler oh, and did I now? did commentary. And it was a lot of... I mean, that was just like the most fun I ever had during one of those briefings. And like, Yeah, I did it with some friends for when life. the Nintendo announced the Switch. And it was, it was a lot of fun. Nice. You now have all the skills you need to move forward. More money, fun of skin, mock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I haven't played Gens of War in a while. I, you know, oh. it was taking up too much time, and like, if you want to be super su achievement, glad you recommended that I do this. Yeah, show. I bet it was all Trove stuff, because I forgot that's a Microsoft game. A Microsoft Trove on Trove? No. I didn't know. I that. thought they did. I thought they no, owned no. the studio. Um, I didn't think so. Well, yeah, I didn't think so either. They do a lot of trope motions. Thanks, Sabota. Trope just likes to give things away. You know, like uh, they're one of the better free-to-play games. It is a good game. It does well, they do their free-to-play stuff well as well. And Gems of War too. But anyway, about Gems of War, like. At high level, you need to be part of a good guild, and you need to, like, complete crap every day and stuff. And I was just too busy for that. Like, I was in a good guild, and they kicked me out because I was busy. Like, I had to go to E3 or something, and they kicked me out. So that was just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah Dr. Sabuta got stuff for Sea of Thieves. Oh, Sea of Thieves. It looks like most of the stuff was uh, basically uh, MMO games. Huh. Yeah, that's like I said. Yeah, it was all on it. So yeah, the one year where they gave away the rare replay. See, though, that was a good year. Yeah, that's a great. Price. You got like ten games. Well, dang. So instead of ginger ale, I'm now having oranges and cream uh, drink from Walmart. Their little brand. And oh, there's another achievement for starting the first level. It's funny they give you achievements just for starting levels. Yeah, that's pretty common in some games. <laughs> that's not anything special. Bygone Billy, that's a fun name. Guys, I watched a movie today, like at home with my cousin who came over. He found out that I hadn't seen this movie he really likes, and it's a movie that probably most of you have seen. But it's The Big Lebowski. Seriously, oh. you've never seen Big Lebowski <laughs> until now? I had not. I saw it a long oh, time dude. ago. <laughs> yeah, you know. How like did I, you even I, get the reference in uh, the in uh, Avengers then? Because there's memes. Yeah, there <laughs> are memes. <laughs> that is but, one of the most meme things out there. Yeah, for for whatever reason. Oh, Tech Guy isn't seen it either. Well, if you it's wanted to dude. see it for cheap. Yeah, you know Voodoo has a service called Disk to Digital where you use the phone app and you take a picture of the barcode on your uh, DVD or Blu-ray case and it gives you a digital copy of the movie. But there's a website that has just codes for like every movie that's supported. So you don't have to actually own the movie. So for $2, I go to this website and take a picture and that's how I got the movie. So like if anyone's interested in watching it, that's a good way to do it because that's like the price What's of What's the rental. website, Paul? Uh, just do a web search for disk to digital list and it's like one of the top three results okay but I mean like I've picked up so many movies on voodoo that way two bucks you know that's such a oh, great price I probably already have all the movies I'd be interested in because I have over a thousand on digital uh, uh or, well right. no I only have like 400 something but ah. I've done all the ones I've owned already for voodoo oh interesting yeah because not everything's supported. That is it's true. Unfortunately, like Disney plan, movies are not supported. Look at this turtle. Yeah, well, yeah, it's the, the licensing issues. What's interesting is like uh, the first uh, Marvel movies were on it before the Paramount stuff. Oh, really? Dang. Yeah. 
because the first Disney Marvel ones were all Paramount stuff, so they were on the service until Disney got the full rights. Quest completed. Achievement for that too. That's interesting. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, because I remember doing Iron Man when it was new, because that was one of the ones available. Also, uh, Iron Man before Disney bought them had like the character actually have sex. Not that it was a sex scene, but like uh, that's it was the beginning of one. Like yeah, I mean that stuff went away after Disney took over, unfortunately. And as someone who embraces human, I mean the Netflix shows had sex. Miss it. <laughs> True, but they're not official. And also, uh, just a minute. Oh, I don't know the Daredevil you want to do your uh, Iron Man fantasies. Back. <laughs> oh yeah, man! Like Iron, there's a deleted scene on the Iron Man Blu-ray where like he had a threesome. Like it doesn't show it, obviously, but like again, that's a lot ballsier than what they would do nowadays. Mm-hmm. Uh, but also the Jessica Jones sex scenes to me like are really lame because they're just wearing all their clothes and that's not how people do things so like i would rather have no sex scenes than have super fake ones uh, i don't know some people still have clothes <laughs> on when they have sex paul maybe like, well you know. seriously paul <laughs> didn't you go to high school <laughs> <laughs> okay but grown-ups i mean sometimes you don't want to waste any time yeah, sometimes you don't have time. Which time? <laughs> yeah, no, like, it, obviously, if you're doing it in public or something or whatever, then. Paul's not very adventurous. Oh, well, it shows what you know. We can't talk about that stuff, though. We can get off the stream. It's going it's to go into uh, after midnight stream soon. <laughs> yeah, we, can't, we can't have an after Paul dark after dark. Stream. How do I get up there? Oh, you could swim up waterfalls or something, right? Isn't that how it works? Yeah, you can. Good. Hey, didn't you hear it tell you you didn't need to know about water? <laughs> no, guys, That's okay, it. I know about that, but it's like, still, I didn't buy those scenes <laughs> at all. Just did not buy them. And for one thing, they're at home. They're not, I don't know. Uh, no more of this naughty talk. Bunch of perv dogs. You're the one who's talking about uh, not getting enough from a... Yeah, uh, you're, like, you started this. <laughs> about not enough nudity. <laughs> hey, in general, there isn't, okay? In life, there isn't. <laughs> you're in the wrong country, Paul. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Out of that, you don't, you don't subscribe to HBO and Cinemax. Uh, true, although I do... You know, obviously, I've seen Game of Thrones, and I do enjoy its naughtiness. Well, AT and T is gonna announce their all-in-one streaming service for like fifteen to twenty bucks. That'll have like all of it. So, yeah, I may end up being tempted into that. We'll just have to see. It Still looks like know. they're gonna add DC Universe as part of it too. Yeah, if they do that, then it will be really hard to say no to it. But like, I already have Hulu and. You know, and Netflix, and I feel like I have one other that I'm not thinking of. Maybe I just have Hulu and Netflix, you know? And like, yeah, Amazon. I should just cancel my Hulu. I probably should. I haven't watched. I mean, there's things on it that I would like. Like, Hulu I haven't finished is one I just get for a month when I feel like watching what they have. I ah. I don't use it enough to get to get it they every have month. They a decent a decent anime selection. Like, My Hero Academia is on there. Yeah, because they have this stuff. Growth. Yeah, so, like, for that reason, it would be a little hard to give it up, because, like, I'm not finished watching My Hero yet. I haven't watched Season 2 of Runaways yet, like I should have. And uh, they have, a like, a sci-fi time-traveling comedy. I can't remember what it's called, like, Time Dude or something. What is... Do yeah. I know what it is? I think that's um, actually what it is called. Space it, Time? Or it, like, it, no, it? no, the word time is in the title, for sure. It's yeah, oh, it, it, was just, it was it looked really stupid, but I, I paid, like, two seconds of attention to it. Yeah, it's one of the it, TBS shows, right? It's actually pretty funny. I thought it was made by Sony, actually. I thought it was who produces it. I could be wrong. Yeah, I thought that was like an indie project. But it's a Hulu like, exclusive. It's, it's a very low uh, budget level thing. It is low budget, but like the writing is good and the acting is pretty good, so I like it. Well, you get a lot of skins and stuff by looking around throughout the levels. I think I'm ready to leave this level. Hey, Gazer. Gazer's got three Zs. I like that. 
kind of makes me think of sleep. Uh, season two of One Punch Man. Uh, actually, uh, I, as far as uh, officially, I think uh, Anime Plex is the only place. But uh, yeah, actually, it was where, where on I watched... Yahoo, but it, Yahoo killed its service, I think, is, or killing it by the end of this month. Yep. Ooh. Actually, what, on the uh, Xbox, there's an app called Anime uh, uh, Unlimited. Or oh, Anime Chief legal, Unlimited. I'm sure. <laughs> eh, oh. Not exactly uh, legal. Uh, but uh, that's where I watch a lot of my anime these days. Well, Viz is also on Tubi, which is legal and free. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, if you want a site that searches legal streaming sites, it's because.mo. Because.mo? Yep. Interesting. Yeah, that lists all the the stuff. Amazon stuff doesn't always play nice because of Amazon's API, but pretty much everything else will show up. Neat. Yeah. Yeah. My issue I... with the uh, Amazon stuff is they they tend to have only partial seasons, or they 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 uh, pay while, uh like half a season. Yeah, remember they released the first half of the tick season and then it was like six months or longer before they released Yeah, and everyone was, and that's what hurt it. Like, nobody yeah. liked that. It's like, what did you do? Like, if you're going to do a wait between seasons, you don't do six episodes. Like, that's really, like 12. Need, it's not satisfying enough. Yeah. Yep. Especially for a 30-minute show. That's the other thing. It was like... You're right, the episode. Now, their, their release model just doesn't make sense. Agreed. And they don't promote things for crap. So. Well, no, they have. They started terrible. with Good Omens. Like, that's the one I've seen them promote. Oh, the true. Most that's got a lot of buzz yeah. going for yeah. it. I watched two episodes of that, and it is a wonderful show. Have you guys checked it out? Well, it's got uh, David Kinnick, so that's, that's Heck yeah. in yep. already uh, interesting to me. Yeah, yeah. and he's, I, I like he's both of the it. lead actors in that. Me too. What's the other guy's I, name? I forget his name. I can never remember the name, but oh, I like him in almost everything he does. Yeah, he's a it's famous a, guy too. Michael like, they have something. Two big stars for it. Yeah, very well made show. If you and uh, you know, it's written by Good Omens was written by was it Douglas Adams and yeah. Terry Pratchett. It was it was Universe yep. guy. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely uh, one of those series where I really hope they uh, continue it. That would be neat. I think, didn't they adapt all that was written? Or is there actually another book that they didn't adapt for the show? I I, don't, I think it, they did all that was written, but it wasn't all that the two had originally planned before uh, the one guy died. Uh, yeah, Terry Pratchett. Yep. Yeah, and, and Neil Gaiman is the showrunner. Neil Gaiman is terrific. My very favorite author, you know? So, like, it's got a serious pedigree, and it actually is that good a show. Oh, and they'll probably keep it going if it's popular. Mad. So. What's that? Yep. Like, oh, I'm sure they'll make more if it's popular. Yeah, I, it would be smart of them to. But, Not uh, the way saying, uh, Amazon is, though, you do, you never know. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes they make good TV decisions, sometimes they don't. I'll let you try my oh, yeah. mom. Just ah, oh, that stupid turkey is attacking me while I talk to her. I don't like that they can do that. Uh, I gotta. I like well, pretty much everything that uh, Douglas Ar Adams is involved with. That's that's gaming 101, Paul. <laughs> What'd you say about Douglas Adams? No, I was gonna say I like almost everything he's involved with. I actually went and uh, listened to every single one of his books uh, in audiobook form. Oh, they're great that way. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, uh, and I uh, hit. Um, BBC had. Uh, uh, Dirk Gently, Holistic Detective. I watched uh, watch the both show episodes of that. Of that. Uh, nice. So if you like that quirky sci-fi fantasy uh, uh, humor, it's awesome. Agreed. It was a good book. The first Dirk. Is there a second one? I can't remember. Uh, kind of. There's an unfinished uh, one. Oh yeah, The Long Dark Tea Time of the Soul. Is that... Yep. Let's see. Yeah, like I, you know, in college I did projects and speeches on Douglas Adams and I knew all about him, but like it's been a while since I've read up on him. I'm surprised he doesn't have that many uh, works out there. Yeah, well, he did a lot of different things, you know, like he wasn't only writing books, like he wrote the radio play of Hitchhiker's Guide, but he spent a whole lot of his life like writing and rewriting scripts for Hitchhiker's Guide, trying to get it made into a movie. So, I mean, it's really nice that it did get made into a movie, but sadly, after he had already died of a heart attack. 
through. Anybody see Dark Phoenix yet? Uh, yeah. It's not as terrible as they say it is, but it's definitely not that good, especially coming off oh, of, uh, the well, uh, uh, Avengers. Well, here's, here's it. How, how good is it compared to other X-Men movies? Uh, it's a mixed bag. So it's like in it's, the middle? It's not Wolf. It's nowhere near Wolverine, so just to clarify it. that. Okay, it's so not it's not anything as good as that. Because sadly, X Men are on their own category of like, oh, it's an X Men movie. Okay, so X Men movies get placed over here, and then you're like, <laughs> okay, now how is it compared to the other ones? Yeah, it's like, better than the uh, uh, other Phoenix movie. <laughs> hey, if it's better than X Men Three, that's something. Yeah. X Men Three has uh, Sentinel way better. Head in it. Basically, this movie requires that even your normal suspension of disbelief. Is suspended further uh, because every plot point is completely broken and makes no sense. Oh, the special the effects are largest though. With the Phoenix, <laughs> you have to do that. I'm just. And it's it's not because of the Phoenix. Oh, it's it's, not, it's oh. legitimately because of the storytelling. <laughs> they forgot the rules of storytelling. But they've done the Phoenix story so many times. It's like there's other X Men comic line. Like, yeah, there's other stories that have been completely <laughs> unadapted that might have been a better fit. But especially the Phoenix story needs good setup, you know, like just doing it out of the blue when you don't care about their version of Jean Grey yet and all that, you know? Yep. Not well, and two, it has so much space stuff unless they completely change it. Uh, no, they, well, they did and they didn't. They stole uh, a little bit from other movies. So the opening they took, they stole from uh, the, the uh, Fantastic Four. The ending they stole from the Dark Knight. And a lot of in between there are basically, hey, let's borrow this scene because yeah. it made sense in this other movie. Well, I know they had, they said they reshoot one. They had to reshoot one because they, when the movie came out, they're like, oh my god, we, it's the exact same scene. Yeah. Well, that's what they said about it, but I really don't think that holds water. Just Simon Kenberg making excuses. All right, Ethan, join uh, in. You should be able to just join in. You have to sign in. Look at that, I got a partner now. Drop in, drop in, out co-op. Being shown off. Wait, Heaven Smile thought it was better than Logan? Okay, you're gonna have to get off the street, off the uh, platform there, buddy. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that's that blasphemy. Is, that's an opinion, all right. In fact, uh, having <laughs> seen Big Lebowski, well, like, that's just your opinion, man. Ah. Yeah, but, dude, if you see this movie and, you, and you've seen Logan, even putting him anywhere near the same categories, Fundamentally broken. <laughs> it, it, it's 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 basically saying they're both movies. Yes, that qualifies. Yes, Beyond they that, are a movie. That is yes, that is a fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's that guy? We have one of our viewers likes to like troll about the Marvel movies for some reason. Is it Lightning? Lightning Halo? Is that his name? I haven't seen him in a little while. Uh, no Isn't idea what you're talking about. Name? Gosh, it's just one of our regular viewers. All right, Ethan, pick your skin. Uh, what they are, the the old creators, or someone is, is since the Marvel Fox Disney thing, Jeez, is they're the trying to pitch a reboot of the X-Men animated series. I wish they would do a continuation. Like, it was such a good show. Just bring it back. Yep. Well, that's one of the things, but they're saying they'll do whatever they can get. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, or even what if they just made an animated movie of it, you know? Like, even if they wouldn't commit to a whole show, just get well, the same people Well, they've already made a couple back. of those. As yeah, long I mean, as they let the, the uh, Marvel the guys do it people. and not the old people. Uh, they need the Marvel guys to do it. No, we're talking about the continuing the cartoon, you know? like just. Oh, yeah, if it's the original cast from the cartoon or the original uh, writers. Yeah, the... it's one of the creators. Yeah. Trying to pitch it. As long as it's not the guys from the oh. uh, uh, X Men movies. Yeah, not those them. guys need to go <laughs> down in deep dark. Shows and movie people are always separate. Well, not a lot days. of times, <laughs> the TV shows are sometimes the comic book writers. Come get it. That would explain some of the why. What's why a lot of them aren't good. You have to pick a slot. Because the stuff you can get away with in the comic book, you cannot get away with in the movie. Oh yeah, and then animate it's easier for anything too. Yeah, that's true. Like you can do like larger scale things with animation. You could have epic space battle and animated much easier than 
movie. Very true, yeah. Yep. Okay, so how do we get Not to that coin? Gotta get up high and then jump over there? Yeah. Yep. Okay. This game is relaxing and fun. It's got nice graphics. Like, Agreed. a nice little aesthetic. Oh no. Hold. So he's waiting to respawn. Uh, the camera is annoyingly focused on dead Ethan instead of me. It's like, I'm alive. Let me see what I'm doing, please. Well, it's got one of the ones that just slowly zooms out to a point of when the characters are apart. Well, he needs to come back. Oh, he's back. Okay, good. Yeah, Legion is a good show. I watched, like, I don't know, maybe like three episodes of the first season, and I really liked it, but I never went back to it. It's very stylish. The first season is awesome. The second season, and I kind of got... Get that eh. Not as good. I just kind of stopped watching. No. It, it starts to get kind of get in its own way. Hmm. Doesn't Professor X turn up in the last season or something? I thought I heard that. I did not even get that far. Uh, well, isn't well? The first question is: the, is the Legion version they have in that show? Is it Xavier's son in that one, or is it somebody else? Uh, but, he's supposed to be Xavier's son, uh, but uh, they don't go into it in detail. At least not no. in the part that I watched. Okay. Like I said, I, I stayed away from the end of it just because it got to the point where I was just like, yeah, this is completely lost track of where it was. Oh. Well, what made it unique was the, the whole uh, deep psychological end, but then yeah. they started to play up the crazy instead of the, the uh, hey, there's stuff inside stuff going on here. Hmm. That's too bad. Uh, player, realistically, it was hard wow. to try to keep that kind of rhythm going. Uh, what's that, uh, the show with the, um, uh, Mali, uh, Malik, uh, where he, uh, plays the, uh, crazy hacker? It's the same Mr. kind of thing Robot? happened to that series. Yep. Same thing happened to that series. After the first, uh, first, and a, uh, second and a half, se or... Wait, so we haven't got During the second hands. season, it just started to yeah. break. Oh, wait. Hawaii, let me okay. back up. Alright. So, the only bad thing about this local co-op setup is no split screen, so you are tethered to each other. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... What was the last thing you were saying, Thomas? I was that saying point? it was it's just like that show after the uh, halfway point of the second season, the show just started to break. Oh. Yeah, some shows do get markedly worse at some point. Well, they just can't keep the, the pace. Yeah, and then more the and... basically the, the reason it was so good it was a very minimalistic on the direct plot everything was about you interpreting what was going on mm -hmm. and then once they start explaining things there's just nothing there anymore wait what was that achievement for window dressing um, i i hope the second okay. season of lost in space is good yeah man i can't yeah. wait for that they sure are taking their time well it's this year yeah it's already Good. been announced it's this year, but they haven't got oh, a date yet. It most likely will be after Stranger Things we might start hearing more of it. Because they're focusing on Stranger Things right now for next month. True. And then they added Neon, was it Neon and Vagalion? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Vagalion. Yeah. I'm not... That was not they... a show that needed to be remade. Well, they just, they redid well, no, it they for some reason. It. Yeah. 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 It's just a classic anime. Well, no, they licensed it, but they're also making a new thing out of it. Oh, yeah, they're making a new series that comes out next year? Or is it this year? I thought it was this year for... They just released the... Uh, they, they just did the re-release yeah. now. Yeah, they've but added the all the thing, old stuff. I think it's the end of the year. Yeah. Because they got the movies, yep. too. But, yeah, no, that's... There's some shows that are best left to be ended. Yeah, let's go they, they shouldn't come back. Ah, Ethan just jumped crazy far. There we go. Alright, we're gonna go explore this cave. Is it a cave or is it just a hole? It was a secret. Oh. Yeah. Secret area. Heather Smile, uh, yeah. Heather Smiles was a fan of House of Cards. Kind of gave up uh, about two episodes toward the end there. last Or last two seasons. Never got yeah. into that one. I need to watch it. That was Netflix's first show. Yep. Got Kevin Spacey, and we all love that guy. <laughs> well, 
It was it was good for like six years, and then Kevin Spacey had the Kevin Spacey problems, and then they were just like, oh, oh, I guess we'll finish this and just walk away. Yes. I, I left after season five, or during. They were already five. like mid production of it, and they had to get rid of them, so they just got a new person and finished it. Yep. Yeah, I don't know Heaven Smile. I think that house fell down. <laughs> Wait, is there anything still? Is there still a bad guy? We gotta kill all the bad guys. How do we get up there? Now, I wish Punisher hadn't gotten cancelled, but the whole Disney stuff is why it did, so... <sighs> you know, I didn't watch the yeah. second season, but what I... How they handled Jigsaw is, like, you know, repellent to me. Just, like, having... Not doing the character the right way, you know? But I still should watch it sometime. Get that well, he's not even Jigsaw in the series. Yeah, I mean, they don't call him that or anything, right? And he's, like, barely even scarred. Yeah, because it's yep. his, his origin. The, he he gets created at the end of the series. That's not good. Yeah, like, I th you should watch it. It's good. I will. Yep. I will watch it sometime. Because I like the show. Ah, oh, the crabs all came back. Oh, we we have to find that last crab nest. I wonder where it is. Kill twenty enemies with big hand weapon. That needs to be an achievement. Uh oh. What killed you? You fell off the edge? Yeah. Yay, I revived my partner. It's, I like when games let you do that. Speaking of Disney stuff, is any of you going to try the Disney service when it starts in November? God, no. I'll be I got enough subscriptions. That's the thing. It's like you don't really want to have more than two, right? But, or two or three. I would say three. Once yeah, you well, get I already have what? Uh, I have three game subscriptions. I have uh, got uh, like four software subscriptions. Oh. I have uh, uh, four video service subscriptions, not including TV. There's just too many subscriptions. Right oh, I don't do TV. I just right now have. There we go. What is it? Two. My, yeah, just two right now. Right? Let's verify One's about to end that I won't renew. So, yeah, so I just have two right now, and then I test for another it's one. It's just the same old so stuff. Yeah. I get that one for free. Yeah. Nice. And which one uh, I'm that? seriously thinking about dropping live TV, but there's no decent uh, TV subscription service. At mm. least not the ones that have the right combination. Sling, I feel, is the best one, but it's still not, the, not great. But uh, Some people well, are telling me the Stony one's pretty good. Uh, I test the mentioned. DC Universe one, so I get that one for free. Lucky. Yeah, I, I would really like to have that. But, by the have we had that before? What is that? Um, speaking of, though, guys, there is an online service called Pluto TV. I may have mentioned it a few times before. But it's, it's just a website you go to to watch shows. And they have, like, a ton of channels, like, literally hundreds of channels. And there's channels with really fun stuff. I mean, they have Comedy Central for one, so it's a free free way to watch Comedy Central. But uh, but they have a Mystery Science Theater channel, so you can watch Mystery Science Theater 24 hours a day, which is really neat. They also have Rift Tracks, which is made yeah. by some of the same people. Exactly. So you got real good comedy options. The Onion does the Onion have a channel? I can't remember. Yes, what they do it does. Right. Yes. And, but more importantly, they recently added a classic Doctor Who channel, and, like, I've been real into that, because, like, I mean, just classic Doctor Who all the time, the first seven Doctors, way better than the newer show, in my opinion, but uh, not everyone agrees with that. But, the, like, the Mostly writing because quality. the newer shows David are, Tennant like, two episodes good. a season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's not that I don't like the new Doctors, I do like them, but the quality of the writing in the newer show is often quite bad. Like, there'll be one yeah. season will have, like, three good episodes and, like, nine dumb episodes, you know. That That's because they keep uh, guesting writers. They don't have a... Well, and two, uh, they keep yeah. having pop cultural references. It's got a lot of little... The newer show has lots of little issues. Plus, BBC never wants to freaking make any episodes, which is very stupid of them. Well, they do that for all their shows now. They, there's no... Any BBC, big show BBC yeah. has doesn't last more than a season or two. Yeah, because they... They just... They're a really badly run company. They have such a hot property with Doctor Who. You know, they could be even hotter. And yep. 
they just, you know, they squander it. It's like two years between seasons. Are you serious? That's your hottest property. You can't handle making short seasons of it every year. Ridiculous. Yes, especially when uh, most of their shows are four or five episodes long. Yeah, the seasons are so short. Yep. But that's just how they run, unfortunately. Uh, let's see who I want to be. They treat plugged. TV differently there. They're more mini series based. Which would be yeah, fine if they were true, consistent, right? but they're not consistent. Yeah. Yeah, that is the problem. But yeah, if anybody's interested in checking out Classic Doctor Who to see what the fuss is about, like, go to Pluto TV and check it out. Like, if you give it a little time because it is slower paced, but, like, those, the Classic Doctors are very, very charming and the writing is good. So, very low budget, but the writing is good enough. Yeah, the old fun. ones are in black and white. Well, the very well, oldest ones, yes. Yeah. yeah. But, like they mostly the, show the the ones that are from the Tom Baker you know, ones. times. Yeah, because yeah, the first two doctors Baker. are in black and white, right? And then after that, yes, it color. that's yep. correct. And like I saw the three doctors the other day, which is where doctors one, two, and three met each other. That was on there, and that is a very fun story. Like it doesn't quite one hundred percent come together, but seeing them interact with each other is so fun. Yep. Doctors two but, and three uh, are my favorites. You, you, to watch it, you are required to get a Tom Baker scarf. It is a <laughs> built-in wool for uh, Doctor Who fans. I should do that. Hey, yep, 84. Good to see you. Yep, 84 doesn't like Doctor Who, but hey, at least he likes showing up, so we're glad to see you, yep. Ha, good joke, tech guy. I like that. Yeah, the fact that this should have a split screen, if it had automatic split screen like Lego games and such, then you could really divide and conquer the levels. Yeah, I don't really understand why any modern multiplayer game wouldn't do split screen when they're doing uh, local co-op. Because people felt like it was an outdated thing to do, so they stopped and then everyone said was like, where is it? So now it's coming back. Well, one thing about split screen is, like online play, it requires more work for the developers. You know, like it requires yep. testing and coding and such, and that's probably why, like, they just didn't have the budget or didn't want to spend the budget on it. Please save her. Okay, we gotta save somebody. Ah, uh, uh, Doctor Wub. I have no idea what Sobota. that name is. Actually, uh, Sabota. Actually, knitted himself a 15-inch uh, inch scarf. That's awesome. Yep, what have you been up to lately? Tell us, you know, I don't see you too often. You gotta catch us up. Uh, who are you speaking to? Uh, to Yup84. Ah. Okay, we got two people to talk to. You said Yup. Yeah, yep. but well, I could have been saying, like, yeah. That's what uh -huh. I thought. <laughs> He's got a new that job. Was... Oh, new job. Where are you working? Not a target anymore, huh? Short-sighted Shelly. Ooh. Stuff. The writing is pretty amusing. Although, obviously, we're streaming, so we're not paying much attention to it. Ah, uh, you built a new PC. What'd you build? Ooh. Nail planks. Board with a nail in it. I want that. I'm not going to replace with it. Uh, ah, he's in manufacturing. Oh, neat. Well, that's better than working at retail, probably. I mean, pay-wise, it's got to be better. Oh, it's got to be more. All right, how do we get to the top of that building? All AMD. Yeah, oh, I'm going to keep an eye on the new stuff they have, because I might get a new build a new computer this fall or winter. That also would be really cool. Since apparently getting the best processor for my motherboard isn't a good idea, I may have to get a new motherboard and all that crap too. Just, it's just too old now. What motherboard do you have? I don't know. It only supported like a i uh, i5 or i7 4000, so that's definitely old. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Brian, you know, built it. He just gave me an old computer that he had laying around, I think, and just stuck some stuff in it. And then I've I've since upgraded the graphics card, the power supply, um, the RAM. And See, the RAM and the graphics card you could keep. 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the, the funny thing is, uh, my old PC that I gave away uh, would have been able to kick your uh, current computer's uh, rear end. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, we unlocked Bastion. You guys remember the game Bastion? Oh, they had some cross oh, yeah. promotion. In yeah. This one. There's also the Guacamelee guy is in this game, I believe, and some other people. I forget who else. Oh, that's really Shovel neat. Knight. Shovel Knight. <laughs> that's true. Shovel Knight gets around. Rescue villagers. Well, I gotta be Bastion. Bastion from the Never Ending Story. Not that Bastion. What'd you say, Tom? Uh, Dark Obi was saying hello. Oh, where? Oh, Dark Obo. Hey, glad to see you. Dark Obo, 1992. Three years older than my son, Ethan. How's it going tonight? Pirate Sword. That's also a pretty cool weapon. But this planks with nails in it is really neat. It's dual wielding and everything. And wouldn't it just suck to get hit by a board with nails in it? It would suck so bad. Not really, because yeah. then they get stuck into your opponent, so it'd be real hard to get it out. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I think you would want to tear with it. Oops, I'm using the wrong weapon. Okay, we gotta use guns on that guy. You're better off sticking something that has like a serrated edge so it comes out easier. I guess that would help. Oops, I went over this way by mistake. Oh wait, there's a coin. Let's get that. Does the money do anything? That's what I want to know. Like, we collect these coins. What are they for? I bet you could. I bet you do something oh. with them. Oh! Happy you... belated uh, birthday. Nice. Had his birthday on Father's Day. Are you actually a father, Dark Obo? Or it just coins? I mean, obviously, it just coincided that way anyway. Ah, oh, dang it. Did I pick you up? No. I'll just kill those guys. They look really strong. Oh, God. Oh, you're right. Crap. My yeah. bad. It's like, they're really strong, Paul. Paul's like, I could take them. I know. I thought I could. I was like, no, I'm going to pick him up. No, that's why I died. Was cause those guys He's were got so a strong. giant sword. I and leave Paul's no like, man ah, behind. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're an uncle. Not bad. I unfortunately didn't do anything for Father's Day. Ethan even wanted to, but I was too tired. That's my new job. You know, the fast food job. It kicks my butt. I hate to say that, but like... I'm you get exhausted sore. from a job like that. That's yeah. Just what it makes me sore. I wish it didn't. Oh, Ethan, I'm stuck over here on the left. Guess you want to get all that stuff though. Wow, well, look at all the good stuff Ethan just got. Get the gym. Yeah. Just hopefully, you get one of the teaching ones you're trying for. I worked at uh, Boston Market uh, right out of high school uh, cool because I had to get a job before I uh, left for the military. Yeah. Uh, and it was terrible, dude. My clothes were ruined every freaking time I went to work because oh. the the smell from the uh, working in the kitchen. Just yeah, I mean, horrible. you you do smell like food afterwards. And uh, yeah, but smelling like chicken guts, dude, nothing's worse. Than yeah. That. <laughs> my my place, it's warm. If you like work on actual cooking stuff, then it I sweat a lot, you know, which I don't love. Yeah, you, you oh, go through so the clothes like crazy. You can't get shot, hit at all while you're reviving or it interrupts the process. That's what set us back there. Let's go back and finish that guy off. Uh, I know you're paying me up. It's, uh, it's always right after you uh, upgrade or buy something, you get a, you're learning about the new stuff. Oh, you're yeah. That's, that's just somewhere. the sad parts about PC parts. There's new something every three months. Is that all it was? Oh, but how do we get up there? Bounce from the lily pad, maybe? It was like, there's always going to be something better oh, to wait for in PC. Job. So. Yeah. Okay, now let's go back. You know, throwing things doesn't seem to have much purpose in this. Like, every now and then you can throw a bomb or something, but for the most part, it's not a very necessary mechanic, which is a shame. Could be doing That's more stuff later on. Yeah, it's not especially effective as an attack. It's okay. Like, you can throw something when you're running up to an enemy, and that's probably about the as useful as it gets. There we go. Got it. I just got I a little surprise. Money does. Yeah. I just got an email from uh, Twitch saying uh, my subscription went through. I'm like, wait, I didn't click any buttons. It was uh, for this. Uh, so I have you set for auto renewal. <laughs> oh, neat. Thank you, Tom. I really appreciate that. 
That was just an interesting coincidence because I'm watching the stream and messages popped up. I'm like, wait, spam. Because <laughs> you subscribed while he was streaming. Yep. Ah. Uh. Fifteen dollar. What is he saying? Fifteen dollar minimum hike. Fifteen dollar minimum wage. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yep, you're not a fan of minimum wage increasing because there are different schools of thought on it. However, I believe that great. I mean, it really would benefit poor people. You know, like not saying you're poor, but like people who would get more from it. It's it's good for you. Well, there's some cities that it's not even that's still not enough, sadly. Yeah, that's well, the thing. The cost days, of living goes cities. up. If the if minimum wage does not keep up with the cost of living, then it just puts people at the bottom, like more and more at the bottom. Like there's no getting clawing your way up from the bottom, and that's not good. Minimum wage has never kept up with the cost of uh, living since it was introduced. Nope. Yeah, but uh, I mean, like it's a good idea, but the they worse. don't do it right. Yeah, they don't. Well, they, that's on purpose. They don't do it right. They don't want it to be right. Mm -hmm. uh, controlled economy. Be careful. The old uh, saying, slavery, slavery never went away. It just turned into a credit card. <laughs> that's a good way of putting it. Hold why to disappear. What does that do? No, that no. And now it's student loans. That's... Uh, yeah, those are awful. No, well, and two, students don't know what they are. It's just, I just shake my head. Because, you know, I, I work in a university. There are so many students. That just treat it as like, oh, it's free money, you know. I like, get people ask them, like, oh, did sense. you need the student yeah. loan? Like, no, I didn't need it. I could have paid for it, but you know, hey, it's free money. Meant to be enough to live on. Yeah, that's a, that's what people really don't understand. When the minimum yeah. wage was created, it was designed to be enough to live on, like enough to support. Yeah, yourself. when it was first introduced, they calculated what it should be, and we're like, yeah, this is what, and then that's it. And they, that's they, the whole yeah. reason it's minimum wage. And yep. there's but no job these days, to think about uh, that. The, the idea these days is it's an entry-level job you're supposed to move up, but it's like you understand that there's only so many jobs to go around and X number of people. Yep. Uh, yeah. And everyone, I mean, like, why would anyone want people to not be able to afford, like, their medical expenses and their, you know, and their food and their clothing and all that? Like, regular... You'd have to ask the uh, medical industry. They're the guys that keep hiking prices like crazy. Uh, well, true. And <laughs> that's that's a whole other problem. Our corrupt government yeah. allows it to be that way, but, yeah. Heck, uh, um, I have a uh, prescription that I that is now uh, constant, and in the last three months, it's <laughs> gone up 5,000%. I kid you not. Beginning oh of the year, uh, a renew a monthly renewal was uh, oh, yeah. ten dollars per uh, prescription. Uh, oh, and, yeah. and within three, uh, the next time I went to renew it, went up to fifty dollars. Next time I went to renew it, went up to a hundred dollars. All the stats on medical oh, God, man. Right. recurring costs yeah. in the last ten years have gone up hundreds of percents. It's yeah, in it, the last ten years yeah. they all decided that they could charge three, four, five times as much. It's because our Congress. Yeah. Particularly, one half of Congress does not no, it's, it's all of them. They're keep all them under them. control. I yeah. mean, they have to. It's just so frustrating because, like, you have to legislate against that. You have to protect against it, or it gets out of control, like it is. And do yes, they but do then they wouldn't have cushy no. jobs when they retired. Uh, yep, that's that sucks. Ah. Like I said, slavery didn't go away. The just red guy is Paul's son. Well, that's a that's a thing, you know. Like some people have real hard situations, and they never are able to lift themselves up from those poor little crappy jobs. Like, yeah, you'll get raises at McDonald's or wherever the heck you're working. Yeah, if you stay there, like if you stay at McDonald's for five job. years, you could make an actual okay amount of money. But you have to stay there for five years, and it's not the greatest job still. Yep, the, the what you're saying is good in theory, but in practice, it doesn't work that way. Uh, the truth is, one, not everybody has necessary skill sets. Two, those jobs are not as easily available depending on where you live in the country and what your education and I social backgrounds are. Oh, and I can tell you from uh, from where I am now to it's where I was, mo it wasn't just because of my, I'm one of those people that my skill sets makes me invaluable to the people I work with, but it also makes it difficult for me to change careers. If I want to go find another job, I'm trapped. I can't get as much money going to a new position. So I'd, I'd be in an economically terrible position, but once I got there, I'd have upward mobility. 
stuff like that happens to a lot of people. And then you take you when you account for people that don't have the kind of skill set I do, it's a whole different math. Yeah, uh, it's the minimum wage is not a it's for teenagers nonsense. That does doesn't hold water. Yeah, so many percent of our economy is not kids. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is a huge good point, yes. Um I mean, and we don't need more about mentality it, right? like that in like 50s and earlier, but it's different now. Yep, that's true. Well, that's because we had manufacturing and all these other mm -hmm. industries, but now we're 100% services based economy. Which, guess what? That means most people don't have skills to fall back on. Yes, that's why vocational skills are in such high demand. Oh boy, we're gonna fight. We have a, a whole boss. associates, secondary almost school that's just all vocational stuff, and it's super popular. Man, the welding is like crazy popular. Yeah, I mean, welding seems to pay pretty good money. Yeah. Well, any kind of machinery that uh, pays because it's uh, it's an artisan skill, uh, and because it's 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 critical ah. for most a right. lot of industries, and most Pretty people don't be. know it, and most people don't want to learn it because it's not interesting. <laughs> or no, it's not. I it's, mean, not to me. It's anyway. also high risk if you do the underwater kind, but it pays a lot. Yeah, yeah. but that's and also yeah. why it pays a lot. <laughs> yep. Suggest moving to a new location. Sometimes that is a good solution. However, there again, moving costs a lot. Of oh money. yeah. Like if it's possible, I, sometimes moving to another state is a very good idea. Yeah, you know, like right now, guys, having worked at a 50k a year job for one year, I cannot afford to move. Like, it would be impossible for me because my expenses are just too high, unfortunately. Yeah. It's like starting over is not so easy once you get past the age of 18. Can you just grab enemies? Oh, you can grab and throw enemies. That's interesting. Is, it, is there any purpose? Toss them off the map, Paul. Oh, yeah, that might be a good... Try throwing them off the edge, Ethan. I'm gonna try it. Uh, it's you can't carry them around. You throw them right then and there. <laughs> I like having this throw idea. Throw them at the boss. Buy a boat and live in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> hey, hey, do you want to be a fisherman? Hey, that's how one guy started his own country, and he's actually rich as a result. He uh, really? moved on to a uh, derelict uh, um, oil rig. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, thanks to international law, he lived on there for over a year. So it became his. Huh. And he was able to declare it a nation. And what he did was he he uh, got these companies yeah. to put servers on there. And he basically, because he made his own laws, he right. basically farmed out the, uh, the services uh, to governments and corporations for uh, basically whatever data they wanted to not keep on shore. Yep. Yeah, yep, everything worked out for you, but what if it didn't? You'd be in another town with no money. Yep. Uh, you know, things could go poorly when you relocate, too. There's all kinds of factors. Ooh. That you Starting want... your own country, that would be really neat. Is it? Hey, we did it! Well, these days you, you wouldn't be able to pull anything like that, because uh, no way they would let you live long enough. All worth money. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. You know, there was somebody who exposed, a, like, a... Remember there was that, like, document that had, like... That proved that all these rich people in America and other countries were, you know, keeping their money tax free wherever it was. And, like, there was a journalist who exposed that and she was murdered. That's what she got for, and thanks for exposing that. And nothing even really happened, you know, because they were not punished or anything. Look at that. While we wait, we can jump around and stuff. So the money only seems to be points. I don't know if it gets us anything unless there's an achievement or something related to it. So, I, I don't really like the length of the levels, that was pretty long, but, you know, there's checkpoints, I guess, maybe you can restart from them. Okay, let's, yeah, let's not talk about financial things, but about the Big Lebowski, I thought it was quite fun, you guys, like, the dream sequences probably could have been cut and it would make for a movie that flows better, but they were interesting sequences. Join in, Ethan. Achievement for starting the level. I'm trying to think of what like movies I'm excited for for the rest of the summer, and the only one I can think of that's left that I want to see is Spider-Man. Really like Summer's kind of not too many super big movies. They were all early yeah. summer. 
But we got Spider-Man at least. That's coming. You yeah, know that's, that's coming that, honestly. I think that's it, really, isn't it? Everything else yeah, is either really small or not until the holidays. It's like I want to see Toy okay. Story Four, but that's one I can be like, yeah, I'll see it sometime. Like <laughs> I can wait for that one. Well, didn't Toy that's Story Four really just come out or no? Yeah, it just came out this weekend. Okay, but like if you needed something to see this week and you had already seen what there was, then it would be a pretty good pick. And people are saying it's very good. Yeah, well, it's Pixar. Most of their stuff, even their worst stuff, is better than average. <laughs> yeah, you. The only well, I didn't like Brave that much. Like, it's not torture to watch. Well, what, the one that special. people, most people, agree upon as their worst movie is The Good Dinosaur. Oh yeah, I haven't yeah. Even seen that. It that was it Pixar was just bland. It didn't feel like a Pixar movie. I've seen it, and it was like no. that's an okay movie. It just did not feel like a Pixar movie. Well, that's too bad. Uh, that was that was definitely one of those. It was it was probably outsourced to the. One guy on the team who does his own, who uh, wasn't allowed to have a lot of responsibilities. That's a shame. Yeah, it's, so, but there's a, a lot of hype for their new one, Soul. Like, so that's just getting unique, a ton of buzz. Really cool stuff like the Maybe you can unlock it eventually or something. Yup says that Shaft is a good movie. I, I would like to see it. Well, I'm interested in Shaft just because it has all the people who have played Shaft in it. All yeah. of them? Wow. Uh, yeah, all three. Yeah, the the the, uh, the one the the original Shaft plays uh, the, the grandfather. Mhm. Mm That's rad. It's like Donkey Kong Country with Cranky Kong and such. <laughs> Pretty much, uh, with a lot more swearing and uh, weapons. <laughs> mhm. Mm Guess so. And trench coats, black trench coats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I, you know, I would like to see Men in Black, but unfortunately, like, uh, you know, just because I get. I can see up to three movies a week with my AMC membership. So Men in we... Black is not getting good word of mouth. Unfortunately, yeah, it's no. supposed to be like a bad re uh, redo of uh, one and two combined. The, f the first review I read was positive, and I was like, "Oh, good." And then every other thing I've heard about it has been negative, unfortunately. <laughs> so that's disappointing. I mean, but it's got Hemsworth and and Thompson in it, and they're both terrific. So it's a shame that. Well, that's what everybody says is down. the only good part of the movie is their, like, relationship or slash, like, charisma together. Yeah. Yep, and they're saying the best jokes are basically more or less references to other movies. <laughs> Interesting. So, now that's definitely one of those I'll, I'll wait for it to be on TV or some other platform. Yeah, that's another oh. one that I'm like, yeah, I'll wait to see. Because I've like already seen all the ones that I wanted to see, which is like Pokemon, Godzilla, Endgame. Nice. Yes. Well, I I still want to see Aladdin. I didn't go see that, and I, I would see him. You actually want and... to see Aladdin? Uh, yeah, that's on I, my I like I'll Aladdin. see it eventually. Uh, I mean, like that I really the... like the animated movie of it. The, the music video pretty much sealed the deal for me not wanting to see it. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, yeah if you watch that music video, it's just. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of the audiences say seem to like not it. Like the music video, like you shouldn't base what you want to see based off that. Uh -huh. Well, the music video is supposed to be taken basically from the movie, uh, and if you actually watch that, the way they they plot it out, it's if that's straight from the movie, it's very clear that uh, they uh, they uh, prioritized uh, the whole hiding an obvious message where it doesn't need to be hidden in favor hmm. of good storytelling. Well, you know, sometimes that's just one little bit out of a movie, you know. The yeah, but if that's your front, your, if that's your uh, first foot forward, that doesn't buy, uh, buy too well for the movie. I didn't really like the Beauty and the Beast movie that much, and neither did my son. Like, it was really dark, you know? They set the whole thing basically at night to hide the CG of the Beast and the other things. Yep. And as it's just way too freaking dark. It kind of spoils things. Is Not to mention like that, uh, Beast is in like two minutes. Yeah, he's barely in it. And the songs suck. Ethan thinks the songs weren't good. I, I don't remember having any problems with them myself. Uh, the one part I did like was uh, the uh, the bar scene or the uh, uh, the silly uh, the fat guy. What, what did he do? I don't remember. Uh, it's basically where uh, the one character's acting like he's a big shot. And they're singing that. Uh, the I don't even remember this song? one at all. Yeah. Yeah. No one that was the only scene in the entire like movie I really liked. Yeah, I remember that scene was actually quite good. 
And I think they released it ahead of the movie coming out, so that is what like got me excited about it. But you still haven't seen the Deadpool version of it, have you? The one that Ryan Reynolds participated in. No, sounds fun. Oh, there's a Deadpool Ethan. version? Yeah, he says he participated in a, a video of it somewhere. So he's done a lot of fan things because he stole the Deadpool suit. Make peace, not war. Speak with peaceful pig. That's funny. This game's got a lot of achievements. Yeah, so that part was good, Dark Ovo. Yeah, I mean, it's not that it's a horrible movie. I just, like, for me, it was just that the movie was too dark and drab compared to the animated film. I don't know. They, they're definitely super hyping the Lion King right now. Yep. The CG in that looks great. It does look good. I'm just, it's just, it's just interesting that they have James Earl Jones in it again because they're like, no, we can't, we can't do better than him. It's, <laughs> well, it's James Earl Jones you? or no one. It's seriously. <laughs> and you know, he's one of those people alive, who they're going to be bringing a... back from death just to, just because it's him. Everyone does really like him. Yay! I got one aguacate from Guacamelee. That's awesome. Guacamelee, one of my all-time favorite games. Break the fences and stuff. That's our objective. Really? Destroy enemy fortifications. Oh, we actually have to break stuff in this level. That's nice that you have different objectives like that. Ah, I fell. As, um, I've been playing more of that mobile game that I told you guys about. What's it called? Uh, Pixel Puzzle or something like that? I'm 50% done with it, and, like, man, it's long. You know, it's just so much free puzzle game. Also, they they put the second Professor Layton game out on mobile this week. It's $10. It's remastered in HD, and, like, the puzzles are, you know, remastered for phones. So if anybody's into those, which are a really good puzzle game with a bunch of story, you know? Then yeah, and Nintendo phone it. ports are usually pretty good. I haven't heard anything that's about a bad one. Nice. And it's been a long time since I played Layton. Like, on the original DS, that's when it came out on first, right? I believe I did play the very first one, and that's the only one I ever played. But I really liked it, so I'm glad to get one on mobile where I'll probably have lots and lots of chances to play it. Bob the Manic Cat. Is he from anything? Ah! Bob the Cat. <laughs> yeah, there you are. You appeared in our game. Achievement. What's this for? To the beat. Defeat 20 enemies with any club. Join the club. Oh, look. We can even break down... This is a fun objective. Because, yeah, like encouraging you to destroy the whole level. That's fun completed. Let's keep getting things. Good luck, everybody. Remember, this game is free on Xbox Game Pass, so if you have Game Pass, you should download it on your own and play it. It's quite charming, especially if you have anybody locally to play with, because it did pick up once. Oh, yeah, the art style is great. I like Agreed. colorful games. Yeah, and there's some humor in the writing, which you could appreciate more if you weren't streaming, and Lots of characters and weapons and stuff. It's got a lot to it. Good old peaceful pig. Everybody loves him. I'm trying to think if I watched anything else. I've been watching more of Tuca and Bertie on Netflix. I don't remember if I ever talked about it. It's a cartoon comedy. It is not related to Bojack Horseman, but it is very funny and well written and acted. I gotta be Aqua Kate. You should be the banana, Ethan. Oh, he wants to be Bob the Manic Cat. All right, that's good too. Steve, what Bob the Bob heck Bob. is uh, TES Six? Uh, dark, uh, darker player. El to Elder Scrolls. Oh, oh, the Elder Scrolls. Man. I'm more interested to see more of Starlink to see what kind of game that is. Starlink? It goes on sale often enough, especially on Newegg. Like Newegg is always having deals on it. Yeah, but I don't even know. No, what he's, game he's it is referring yet. to the game that's yeah. out there, going to release yeah. next. Yeah, oh, but that's this new IP. They haven't even yeah. said what a game it is. It just here's the game. It's called Starlink. Yeah, my new position on everything is uh, wait and see. Uh, <laughs> lately, the games have been burning wait, me left and right. Let's look around the level first. We want to get everything. This isn't like Starfield. Uh, new level though. It's just a secret area. Is Starfield, okay, not Starlink. That is. Yeah. Because yeah. Star, Star Starlink, Starlink is a game that is out. 
That's okay, the that's uh, cool game with the uh, little, uh, where you can get the, uh, Ships? Uh, oh, yeah, hit books? Okay. Crap. That yep. one. That's Star Fox. Yep. X-Wing and E-Wing fighters prepare to launch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they do have that new Star Wars game that looks interesting. The the one, which one? The one from, um, the, uh, I want to say Remedy. Respawn. Is that who it's from? Respawn, yep. Yeah, aren't people saying the combat's kind of underwhelming? I feel like that's Tyler's impression of it. Oh, it's a Star Wars game. There's, Star Wars game. there's really not too much to oh, do yeah. with the combat. Part of the reason is Disney told them that there can be no dismemberment. Yeah, they don't want to have yeah. dismemberment, which limits the coolness of the lightsaber stuff. Yeah, no, there was people cutting off arms and just straight and, and just gameplay. They could uh, do heads, but they did cut off limbs. Of people or robots? I really think it's just robots. Of people, to of stormtroopers. Like and if you watch the gameplay, clothes. they cut off an arm or a leg in the in the of stormtroopers. Uh, hmm. They didn't Where do any heads or about? bodies, but they did do limbs. Well, arms have to be Monster okay clothes. because it's canonical. Yeah. Well, yeah, but even I mean, doesn't somebody get beheaded in one of the prequels too? I mean, but that's... yeah, yeah. Well, people get beheaded all the time. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, Dooku got beheaded. Yeah, uh, chopped up. And Darth sure Maul got half. chopped in half. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the Emperor gets his wang cut off. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> These movies are supposed to be for kids. You know, Yoda beheads uh, stormtroopers in the prequel yep. as well. Yeah, I think like if they're completely covered in armor, they don't mind. But if it's uh, like a unclothed person, you know, like a normally dressed person. Yeah, you know, yeah. the more, the less human something looks like, the more you can get away with. That's what it is. I guess so. And then if you call yes. them all robots, even if they look like humans, you can get away with it too. Ooh, I want the crossbow. That's how yeah, I always... Basically uh, that's Disney how, hypocrisy rules. Well, I also, <laughs> they also did it for Ninja Turtles in the old days, which I always thought was hilarious. Because in the yeah, video game, the foot was always robots, so you could just, you know, murder them. Yeah. On yeah. Well, I mean, they got that from the cartoon first, but yeah. Here, let's keep looking for stuff. We didn't explore every bit of it, did we? No. This thing is so much better than the other gun. Nice. Yeah, it doesn't have to reload, does it? No, it does reload, but it just reloads fast and all at once. Nice. So the crossbow is really good. Yeah, I wonder if you can eventually get the ability to bring items to any level. That'd be good. Yay, we wouldn't have wanted to miss that. Lucky Cherry, you can play as a Lucky Cherry. How strange. I mean, in the new Disney one, a character does get cut in half as well. It's a little newish, so that might be spoilery if I say who it is. Which one? Which are you talking about? Shall we go? In the newest one, did someone get cut in the half? Jedi, well, what? I mean, you don't remember the subtitle? Jedi Fallen Order. My annoying like thing with that is the best scenes in the movie are in the trailers, not in the movie. <laughs> now Ethan's going to be a banana, and I kind of don't want to play as anyone else but Aguacate, but since he's that, I'll be the cherry. If that's Lucky Cherry number two, does that mean there's a Lucky Cherry number one that we missed? Way to go, uh, BX Latino and have Could smile. be, or it just could be the name of the character from something. By the way, everybody who you wants to cherry Paul? tonight... <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I'm sure it'll turn up again. Uh, but, no, everybody who wants team codes tonight, make sure you redeem the codes during the stream so we can find out if they worked or not, because remember the, I had those codes, I wasn't sure if they worked. Yeah, the Telltale ones might be a problem. Yeah, but they got it, it's up to them to report it to us. And I guess everybody has my email address, right? Doesn't the newsletter actually yeah, allow you got you the to Discord too, and send so. it to me? Well, that too, yeah. But apparently Discord is really hard for some people. I don't understand why. Because it's a good app and there's a website and all that crap. Hey, it took you forever to switch from Skype from it, Paul. <laughs> I know, but we were chatting there already. Like Skype is semi-reliable, just like Discord. Semi-reliable. I guess we have been, 
Just the thing with Discord about you guys being able to join when you're available. Yeah, it's great. It's so way better because we could just yeah. drop in. Yeah, I do love that. Hmm, do we want to jump across the bridge first or do we want to... Yeah, these crossbows kick butt. So you're finding better Rusty weapons blade. now. Yeah, we're finding some interesting stuff. But the crossbow, definitely best ranged weapon we've found so far. We're going to keep going until we beat this entire level, you guys. So that means we'll probably go a little bit, maybe 10, 15 minutes past the stream. We'll see how long it takes. I mean, past the normal ending time. We always hey, appreciate Simu. you guys hanging out with us. Uh, Simu, can't you just turn off the notifications uh, thing in, in uh, or the sound for uh, Discord itself? Yeah, see... Each, each server yeah. that you join through Discord has notification settings, and you have to manually turn off push notifications for all messages. You can change it to just mentions. That's what you want. And channels, too. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, each server yeah. you join... Oh, oh, I see. The individual channels. Yeah, and each ser you can control each server and each channel within the server. Yeah, so I recommend you reinstall the app, and you just mess with the notification settings for our server and just have it you do want to be notified when someone ats you when somebody mentions your name but you don't want to be notified for every message so yeah i completely understand that mm -hmm. yeah because if people get talking then you'll get a and notification don't be like me seconds. where uh, you let it go for a while and then you forget your password and you have to go to you <laughs> mess to get it and reset well, our, our friend No Time for Games, who was here earlier, he actually uh, has at least two or three different accounts because he's silly, basically. But yeah, um, and that's just I do, too much work. I save all my passwords in Chrome. You know, just I let it whatever it offers to save. It doesn't offer to save every single thing, you know. But like, usually I can go to Chrome and just check what my password was when I don't remember for a site. You know, very handy. Make it easier for Google to get the rest of your information. <laughs> oh, well, maybe, but I'm not too worried about it. It's like, yeah, they already got the rest. Why not just hand it over anyway? Uh, you know, well, as as not listening the to my changes to it out. have a lot of security researchers saying it's too easy to manipulate into surveillance software now. That's pretty much every platform these days. Yeah, and you know, like, there's been instances of Amazon's Alexa or whatever it's called, like, actually allowing people to listen in to other people's commands and private information and stuff. Documents that was funny. Instances. One of our, because, you know, we have tablets to check out, and some of them are Amazon right. ones. And our work study was just chatting with somebody in our, in our equipment room. Well, one of the it tablets have it. charging. Yeah, and, right he, and he said, like, he was just talking to somebody, and he says, like, oh, you know that song I like? It's like, I love listening to blah, blah, blah. And then Alexa chimed in on one of the tablets and says, playing song, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> and it, like, freaked yeah. him out. It was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, those voice commands don't appeal to me at all, you know? Like, I, I don't get why people are so into them. But I, I do use voice messaging on my phone a lot instead of typing stuff out. But then it messes up sometimes and I get frustrated. That's why you got to have the review before send option checked. Oh, yeah, that is a good idea. So what are we looking for? One more capsule somewhere? Uh, my company actually gave <laughs> me an Echo to test, and I just kind of took it, um, uh, plugged it in for five minutes, did exactly the minimum I needed to, put it right back in the box, and... Tried to give it back to them, they refused to take it back. Like, come on, I really don't want this in my house. So it's just <laughs> sitting in my house, still sitting in the box. Yeah, as long as you don't power it, it's fine. Or connect it to your network. Yeah. Uh, Icky says when we say Alexa, it sets off his, his Alexa or something. So he oh, Alex. To say Alexa. You can say Alex. Yeah, because it's a little smart sensitive. Say the game saying Cortana kept on saying. I wish the well, special move, the right. Well, move remember the joke of you know really. people watching stuff and and you know think people would say Xbox off, yes. you know, and it would turn off people's Xbox. And... <laughs> <laughs> well, they were playing multiplayer games and stuff. Yep. 
Uh, it wasn't just on uh, people playing games. People on and, YouTube were messing yeah, with people. Yeah, yeah, watching videos and stuff too. Yeah, that's amazing. So, yeah, that's good. So this stream won't go on too long. I'm considering either streaming the rest of Zed Blade or just or just playing it without streaming. I streamed on one of the day streams. Well, I mean, like, I want to I wanna knock it out. You know, like, even after the stream, I need to wind down a little bit to be able to go to sleep. And I do have to go to sleep, you know, but... Hickey, they don't know your your secrets because you have your Lexus. They know your secrets because you like to post them online. That's true. He's always, for some reason, posting those naked pictures of himself. I don't really appreciate that. He said he was doing it for you, Paul. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's like, I mean, oh, there's the whole naked Paul like to... channel in the Discord. <laughs> oh, don't tell everyone about that. <laughs> That's a surprise. <laughs> we agreed not to use it as a selling point. <laughs> so you finally oh, found you... a way to get more subscribers, huh? There you go. Whatever it takes. Then, uh, you're, then you should start advertising your 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 private Snapchat messages if you subscribe. <laughs> you know, I actually don't have Snapchat. I've never used it at all in any form. It's not very enjoyable. Yeah, I don't... I should... I mean, maybe I should try it, but yeah, a lot of people don't care for it. I know the younger people do, though. I don't know, I feel like... It looks like to me that it's starting to get less popular. Like, I think it's hit peak and it's starting to go down now. Ah, don't kill me. Because we got some Snapchat glasses for people to use, and they haven't gotten used in a couple ah. months now. They used to be really popular. Oh, wow. Oh, man, I'm down. Run. Apparently, uh, Icky uh, likes his uh, Alexa to sing him uh, uh, lullaby. Yeah. What happens if I hold the button to disappear? We still haven't tried that. But yeah, there's like background there built-in stuff for the Alexa. Does... Doesn't Alexa have that weird white Elder Scrolls too. game you can play? Have what? A weird Elder Scrolls game you can play? You can play Skyrim. Oh yeah. Blades? Yeah. You can play actual Skyrim. Yeah, like just complete with an arrow in the knee. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty neat idea. Yeah, it was the uh, April Fool's joke that turned out to be real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this was the first E3 where they didn't announce Skyrim <laughs> on a new platform. Oh yeah, you're right. Well, I don't <laughs> think there's any platforms left. <laughs> They'd have to go back in time to do it. That's true. Achievement. Yeah, hey, hey, they could do points. a classic Skyrim, you know, console. Victory. Like, oh, buy a Skyrim console for fifty dollars. Plug and play one that yeah. has all the Elder Scrolls games. <laughs> That'd be something. Oh, look at me with my crown. Oh, we both got crowns. That would just be an excuse for them to re-release Skyrim for the 18th. He's got a bigger crown because he has ever so slightly more points than me. So that's funny. And if you're playing four-player, that little competitive aspect would be neat. Yeah, the only thing about having more players is the more people you have, the more frustrating the lack of split screen would be. So we better go ahead and wrap things up. Everybody, we've been playing Riverbond from a developer called Coco Cucumber. Real cool developer name there. Excuse me, it is free on Xbox Game Pass. If you don't have Game Pass, it's $25. It's also on PlayStation 4, Switch, and Steam. I really liked it. The indie guest characters are, are certainly fun. I hope you two had a good time, co-hosts. Always a pleasure. Bob Jones, thank you for co-hosting. No problem. Thomas, thank you for co-hosting. Always having fun. Yes. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next week. And whatever you do, don't hate. Appreciate. Okay. Bye, all. Right. Bye, Thomas. Later, everyone. Good rest. So we beat one fourth of the game on stream. Fun. <laughs>